Welcome back to the homestead everybody. Today I wanted to take a minute and show you a tool that we've been using on the homestead, especially as we're headed into winter here and the temps are starting to drop. That is absolutely changing the way that we start fires here on the homestead. So if you've been following this channel for a while now, you know we have a double barrel wood stove in the greenhouse that we use throughout the entire winter. We also have a wood stove inside of our home that we use and so we are burning wood like crazy here on the homestead the other thing that's going on is we've been taking a lot of trees down here um, we're doing a project on the uh, side where we have the pigs the side of the property where we have the pigs and then we are also doing a project behind me here <clears throat> in the wooded side of the property and we've been taking a lot of trees down so we have an abundance of firewood which is awesome so Let's get right into it. I am going to show you this tool that is absolutely revolutionizing the way that we start fires here. And I hope that from this video, you guys out there that are trying to burn green wood, wet wood, whatever it is, dry wood, uh, really benefit from this. So let's get in here and check it out. All right, guys, so this is the firewood we have this year. Uh, we have two layers back here, far in the back, then one here. It goes all the way down to the other side of the greenhouse. And then we also have these two sides here going on and i'm going to eventually bring these out to fully encompass around the double barrel wood stove what this setup does is that it kind of acts as like a kiln drying process all of our wood here is we just got cut down so it's all green it's all extremely wet and if you know anything about starting fires it's really hard to start a fire with wet green wood and so there's a couple things that i'm doing i'm doing this setup to help dry the wood out but then i have this amazing tool behind me that helps to start those fires that all you have is wet wood so here it is guys this is a propane wand extension and so basically all it is very simple is you know you have you can control the amount of gas coming out by this valve right here you got little holes where your propane comes out you light this guy and uh and you stick it in your fire so this is an extremely easy setup. You can buy the wand. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, on Amazon. Check it out. It is it's an, it's an awesome product. Super simple. I think it's like 26 bucks on Amazon. So obviously, yes, it uses a little bit of propane. It's not a ton. I've been using this one 20 pound tank for about two and a half weeks now, and it's been awesome. So let's get right into it and we'll start a fire in this double barrel wood stove. So the way I like to do it is I leave a little spot that I can fit the wand into in the center there. I take the wand, kind of shove it in between these two logs, and then it just sits right there and I can let it do its thing. So one thing you want to make sure you're not doing is putting this in the fireplace to start it because once that propane starts coming out, it'll ignite and that's trapping all of the gas. So you don't want to ignite your whole fireplace. So go ahead and turn this on here. You barely need to turn this valve. Yeah, I said barely. You really barely need to turn this valve. Let's turn that way down. But I mean, that thing can get smoking. Look at that. So we'll turn it down there. We don't want to waste all of our propane. All we're gonna do is shove it right in the fire here. Try to get it in between those two logs. Just separate them a little bit. Just like that. Just like that. My wood stove kind of drafts back in a little bit, so I like to kind of shut the door and help it draft back out where it's supposed to.
so while I was showing y'all how to use this thing I just had a revelation on changing my wood stove so I grabbed the grinder real quick and I insert this thing a different way because like I said the draft isn't wonderful with this um, piping that I have I need to change it and I need to route it a little bit more direct out the greenhouse and so the draft comes back in a little bit when you open the door so I was having the door open and it was starting to the smoke was starting to come back into the greenhouse so I'll show you what I did real quick so there's this bottom venting plate right I just took it out it's got a little knob that I ground ground off there slid it out and uh, and then I cut the center vent section out right here so that I could shove this wand right through the bottom so I wouldn't get a ton of draft when I was open it wouldn't even have to open it when I started it and then when it's done I'll just shove that back on there and it just kind of sits right there might end up putting a hook on it on the back side and letting it sit on the back side of that inside part of the stove so that's a much better way to insert the wand without having the door open So just a couple things on really why I like this propane wand. This uh, this union here where it goes into the wand itself, it swivels so you can turn the wand around while it's in the fire. You really want the holes on the end of the wand to be facing up so your flame is going up. So that's a great feature. And then also pretty long, get a pretty long uh, hose here that you can back the propane tank off of the fire enough. The other nice thing about this wand is the valve here that is super sensitive. You can get pretty minute on how much propane you're sending out the other end. So very pretty basic. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's just a tool that's going to allow you to burn that green and wet wood pretty quick. You can develop a base of coals really fast by just scorching that, you know, first couple pieces of wet wood down get your nice coal base and then really get a fire going if you know anything about starting fires with wet wood once you have that coal base it doesn't really matter if you're throwing green wood on or not so you can throw your green wood on top of that and it'll burn fine all right that's it guys i am going to get warm next to this fire while i do some work i hope this video helps you guys out there gives you some insight into some tools that are out there that really help around the homestead if you're interested in checking out this tool i'll leave a link in the description below you can check it out on amazon this is not a sponsored video this is just a tool that i love and for those that have been tracking with goshen for a while we are getting back into the swing of things here in the homestead with shooting youtube videos and getting updates out there so stay tuned i have a bunch of update videos coming up uh, about what we're doing around the property some really exciting things that we're getting into uh, this winter and then coming into the spring that i'm excited to share with you guys so stay tuned hit that subscribe button and stay connected with our channel thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next video